It all starts with a second-year guy named Sakurai walking through the university and enjoying the weather. A freshman girl named Yuzaki approached him and asked if he would take up swimming this year because he tried hard at school. Sakurai told her that there are many other interesting things to do at the university. All year round until the following spring, Yuzaki watched Sakurai spend time alone. When he was walking through school and was already a third-year student, he suddenly heard a scream. Yuzaki ran up to him and said that he would no longer spend time alone. The last lesson was cancelled and he was wondering where he should go for a walk. Yuzaki ran behind her and loudly called Sakurai. He turned around to ask her not to yell and she bumped into him. She thought he was going to lunch and decided to do him a favor and go with him. He told her that his last lesson was cancelled and he was going for a walk. She began to follow him and this irritated him. Yuzaki said that her lessons were also over and it would be more fun to walk together. Sakurai told her that he was fine alone and didn't need company. On the street she shouted that he was walking with her because of his mood and all the people began to condemn him. When they came to the cinema, the girl started laughing that he was going there alone. He took her by the nose and began to explain that everyone has their own hobbies because they are adults. He was choosing a movie and offered to pay for her to go to the cinema since she was here. She was very happy and chose a film that he had already watched but didn't mind watching again. After the movie, they decided to go to an electronics store to buy new headphones. Yuzaki decided to show Sakurai the massage chair and he sat down there. The girl turned on the shoulder massage mode and began to experience great relaxation. He asked her to stop squealing to the entire store and took her away from there. She stood on the weight loss device and her body began to tremble, she said that this was replacing a full body workout. Sakurai covered his face with his hands in fits of shame. They came across virtual reality and Yuzaki decided to try playing. In the game they started to push her into a corner and in a panic attack she accidentally caught Sakurai's face. After that, he was offered to try and he agreed, but for something light. He was underwater and enjoying himself until a shark started swimming towards him. Yuzaki started teasing the guy and recording him on video and he accidentally grabbed her breast. After the store they went to baseball because Sakurai wanted to play something in life after virtual reality. He couldn't hit the balls and Yuzaki laughed and teased him for it. He offered to play for her because there was one more attempt on the card. She swung hard and hit, but due to the fact that she had never played or warmed up, her back was strained. He put her on her back and recommended that she go home. They went to a restaurant and Sakurai said that there was nothing serious since she could walk. While he was telling her this, she ate all his food, he ordered himself another portion. The cook decided to give them a dish from the establishment and Yuzaki again did not leave anything for Sakurai. When he was served food, she tried to steal it again. At school she said that yesterday was great. She tried to invite him to go out today, but he said he was busy. And to himself, Sakurai was surprised at her desire to have fun despite the pain. She said that her back hurt and asked him to carry her in his arms because he was to blame for her pain. Sakurai worked in a cozy cafe and he really liked it because it was quiet. The owner determined that the buyer wanted to pay for the order and the guy was surprised. The owner thought to himself what a good worker Sakurai is, even though he looks scary, but everything works out for him because he is attentive. Suddenly, Sakurai screamed because Yuzaki entered the cafe. She said that she was coming from a friend's place and was just thinking about eating here, and the guy tried to drive her away. She turned to the owner and asked why he was hiding there. The owner replied that he was just looking at the product and assumed that she was in elementary school. She exclaimed that she was a student, and Sakurai said that it was because she was short. At this time, the owner was upset by the mistake he had made because he had never made a mistake. After that, he looked at her in more detail and realized that she was already an adult. Sakurai sat Yuzaki down at the table and casually asked what she would order. She turned to the owner of the cafe and offered to deprive Sakurai of his bonus. Sakurai asked her to be quiet while the owner watched from behind. Then he made a nice face and told her to take her order and leave. She said that he says such nasty things with such a sweet face. And the owner asked Sakurai to show all his skills. He served her water with all his skill and skill, but she began to laugh at him. He threw her out of the establishment and told her to leave him alone. The owner of the cafe, holding back his laughter, told him that he was free for today and could go home. On the way home, Yuzaki suggested we go somewhere to eat because she was very hungry. The guy refused her and told her to eat at home. She said that tomorrow she would come to his cafe, but the guy replied that she should not come on his shift. The girl said that she would not laugh at his cute face and in general she liked the interior of the cafe. The guy only replied that he agreed because he liked the atmosphere of this cafe. In the morning, on the way to school, Sakurai saw a cat and wanted to pet it, but the cat only scratched and bit. Yuzaki saw this and was surprised what Sakurai was doing so early in the morning. She decided to show how to properly tame cats. She walked up to him and let herself be sniffed so that the cat would get used to it and began petting him. She said that she has two cats at home and if Sakurai wants, he can come to visit her. 
While he was thinking about this, a bicycle passed behind him and scared the cat away. Sakurai was upset that he couldn't pet the cat because he couldn't keep animals at home and wouldn't be able to pet the cat. Yuzaki decided to catch the cat so that Sakurai could pet it, and if that didn't work out, they'd go to a cat cafe. She jumped into the bushes after the cat and almost caught him, but suddenly realized that she was stuck. She asked him to pull her out because she couldn't get out herself. He started to pull her out, but her t-shirt got caught and they fiddled there for a very long time. Two girls walked by and looked at Sakurai in horror. He tried to explain everything to them, but they ran away in horror. In the university cafeteria, he was choosing food for himself and Yuzaki said that she could not join him because she was eating with a friend. He told her that he didn't care because he was eating with a friend. She was shocked and poured tea past the mug. Yuzaki said that he was obliged to introduce her to his friends, but the guy said that she was not his mother and left. During lunch, Yuzaki asked with gestures if everything was okay with him, but Sakurai did not understand anything. Then she wrote to his phone and while they were talking, Yuzaki's noodles got soggy and his food got cold. After work, Yuzaki went to Sakurai's cafe and asked him to help with a report. He refused her, but the owner of the cafe told him that he could help her because there were no customers anyway. He helped her with the report, but she was distracted all the time and Sakurai was irritated by this. She asked to visit him overnight to see how he lived. He refused because he didn't want to let her in and was very embarrassed to sleep in the same room with him. And while Sakurai was shouting at Yuzaki, the owner of the cafe was watching them and thought that it was worth raising Sakurai's salary. In the cafe, Ami Asai watched Sakurai and thought about how handsome and tall he was. The owner of the cafe asked her not to think, but rather to wipe the tables. Yuzaki came to the cafe and said hello to the owner of the cafe. Yuzaki gave Sakurai the game she was borrowing from him, and Ami watched them. Ami brought Yuzaki some water and they introduced themselves to each other. Sakurai noticed that she was almost out of water and decided to bring her some ice water. Yuzaki stood up and collided with Sakurai, who was carrying water, and they fell. They were wet in icy water and found out who was to blame, and the owner of the cafe and Ami watched this. The next day, Sakurai did not come to work because he was sick and was allowed not to go to work. She decided to ask the owner of the cafe for Sakurai's address in order to court him. Sakurai was lying in bed and feeling bad, but someone rang the bell and he had to open it. It was Yuzaki and she came to check on him when suddenly he fell to his knees. After putting him to bed, she decided to go to the store for medicine and food. She brought him some rice and tried to feed him with a spoon. But Sakurai took the spoon away and began to eat on his own. After eating, he felt hot and Yuzaki wanted to undress him to wash him with a wet rag. He tried to resist, but she still undressed him and began to rub his body, which greatly embarrassed the guy. In the evening, she gave him a pill and the guy told her to go home since it was late. She said that she would wait until he fell asleep and play a game at that time. Sakurai decided to thank her for this, but she just said that he would have done the same. After a while, she kept him awake with questions about the game. The next day, Ami came up to him and he apologized for the fact that she had to work for him. She said that she was free anyway and was glad to help him. The guy said that he wanted to thank her for this and she asked him to take Yuzaki with him to dinner in honor of his recovery. At the table, Yuzaki served Sakurai meat and tended to him. This pissed him off because he could eat on his own and didn't need help. When Yuzaki left, the guy apologized for not coming to work, and the owner of the cafe asked Sakurai how Yuzaki courted him and how their relationship was going. He replied that there was nothing between them because he loves peace and quiet, and Yuzaki does not fit this criterion. They said that this was not good, and the guy thought that they were already tired because there was nothing wrong with it. The owner of the cafe and Ami decided not to interfere in their relationship, but simply observe from the sidelines. When Yuzaki arrived, she noticed that Sakurai called Ami by her first name, not her last name, and this upset her. She asked why he called her by name, and he replied that Ami had the same last name as the owner of the cafe. During a break at the university, Yuzaki hung a coin on a string and tried to hypnotize Sakurai. This surprised him and he decided to play along with her because she was caring for him. When she realized that it was working, she asked him to call her by name. He tried many times because he didn't want to call her by name. But then he still called her Hana and she asked him to repeat it over and over again, and while she did this other people looked at them. Then she decided to ask him to pay for her lunch, buy her ice cream and drink. When she asked him to buy her virtual reality glasses, he abruptly told her not to tempt fate. She was offended that he was pretending, and he said that it was not fair to hypnotize people. She said that she was offended because he called Ami by her first name, but she only by her last name or other offensive nicknames. He decided to apologize for this because he didn't think that this could offend her. Then he took the coin and jokingly moved it in front of her eyes, but she fell into a trance. 
he tried to read in a book how to remove hypnosis while she stood motionless. Sakurai was on vacation and played video games for three days. Suddenly Hana came to him and decided to walk with him on the street playing a mobile game. On the street, Sakurai looked terrible due to playing too many games. They decided to go to a glasses store to buy him glasses to protect his vision. There they met Ami and asked her to be a consultant for him. They started trying different glasses on him and laughing at him. Having laughed a lot, they decided to pick up glasses for Hana. Hana asked if glasses suited her and he replied that she looked stupid and they started quarreling. Already on the train, Sakurai was angry with her because she was the one who started it first. Suddenly she staggered and he held her so that she wouldn't fall. The longer they stood on the train, the more people got on the train. Sakurai was pressed tightly against Hana and tried not to think about it and pull himself together. He imagined blue skies. Hana turned to him but he did not answer. Hana got off the train and found that Sakurai had not gotten off the train. Suddenly the doors began to close and the train left. Sakurai woke up in an unknown place and it was already late, and there were a lot of missed messages from Hana on his phone. At the cafe, Sakurai told everything to the owner of the cafe and Ami advised him to talk to Hana. At the university, the girl was sad because the holidays were ending and school was beginning, and she wanted to have fun, not study. Sakurai suggested that she go and have fun somewhere. She was shocked because Sakurai had never invited her anywhere and the girl began to talk some kind of nonsense. The guy said that he didn't understand anything, but if she doesn't want it, then he'll leave. But she immediately changed her mind and suggested going on a picnic by train. Sakurai remembered the incident on the train and immediately abandoned the idea. And he offered to go visit him and decided to apologize to her because he saw how obviously angry she was. Hana came to his house completely wet because it was raining heavily outside. She was upset that she was wearing her favorite sweater and would have to change. She asked to go to the shower so as not to get sick and flirtatiously called him with her, which made the guy very embarrassed. After the shower, she decided to cook him some food because last time he was sick and couldn't get the full taste of her food. After preparing the food, they sat down to play his console and had a good time until the evening. Closer to night, he decided to walk her home and they scheduled the next meeting for tomorrow. When they had already said goodbye, Hana noticed that she had forgotten her pass and they went to his house. Sakurai had a dream that while trying to save a cat, he fell from the roof. He suddenly woke up in class and was horrified because Hana saw him. She began to question him and pester him. The teacher started talking about the dream and Hana started teasing him more. After the lesson, she continued to pester him when suddenly she began to fall. Sakurai caught her and decided to tell her about the fear of falling from stairs. She asked him to stop because it was creepy and scared her. During one of the breaks, Itsuhito Sakaki was trying to avoid talking with the girls and just saw Sakurai. He told them that he had plans and left with Sakurai. During a snack, they exchanged what had happened recently, but Sakurai did not tell him about his friendship with Hana. Sakaki was angry with Sakurai because he was wasting his youth and not having as much fun as he should. Hana came up from behind and was very surprised because she didn't believe that Sakurai had a friend and she was very happy. Sakaki watched them quarrel and smiled. When Hana left for class, Sakaki started teasing him about Sakurai's feelings for Hana. At another break, Sakurai and Hana were playing video games and Sakaki decided to ask about their relationship. They began to vehemently deny it, and even if it were true, Sakurai would not have told it. Sakurai and Hana decided to get some ice cream and just left. Ami approached Sakaki and decided to offer him to watch from afar so that Hana and Sakurai could have a relationship. He wanted to offer her help to help them in their relationship, but she rejected them because she didn't need help. Hana ate shakamant and Sakurai thought it tasted like toothpaste. She began to shout at him indignantly because she was offended by his attitude towards the shakamant and began talking about discrimination against the shakamant. People on the street began to applaud her, but Sakurai did not understand anything. He said that since childhood he couldn't stand mint and doesn't even like mint toothpaste. He said that he had never tried a shock mint and Hana began to attack him with her fists. When he calmed her down, she begged him to try and he reluctantly agreed. After he tried it, he said that it was quite tasty and Hana was happy. Sekaki and Ami argued about whether to get involved in a relationship or not, but Ami was still against interfering because it's better to look from the outside. The day begins with Hana being hired and Sakurai was unhappy because she already follows him everywhere and now at work too. The owner of the cafe said that she asked him for a job and he could not refuse. He asked Sakurai to teach Hana everything he knew. He began to tell her and show her what to do and suddenly she was indignant at the lack of jokes. The guy got angry because at work you need to be serious and not joke. Hana started laughing at his seriousness and told him that she already knew everything, and this was a setup to anger him. After some time, Hana decided to ask what Sakurai would do during the summer holidays. He replied that he planned to play the new game and spend the holidays alone. She was outraged by this and she invited him to go to the beach because he once went swimming. 
Sekaki came to the cafe because he found out that Hana and Sakura were working together and wanted to observe them. He decided to take charge of transportation and housing. Ami asked if he would stop bringing them together, and he replied that he could not leave Sakurai and Hana alone. Already on the beach, Ami decided to keep an eye on these two and noticed that Sakurai was missing. He decided to go swimming alone and when he returned he was asked to take off his goggles and swimming cap because no one goes to the beach like that. Ami asked why he left Hana alone because something could have happened to her. She said that he should give him a compliment and he began to give it. Ami indignantly said that the compliment should be given not to her, but to Hana. At this time Sakaki came and brought a watermelon. They blindfolded Sakurai and forced him to play. Hana deliberately confused him to mock him. Suddenly he stumbled and fell on the girl, clutching her chest. He didn't understand what it was and tried to guess. He decided to take off the bandage and Hana quickly slipped him a watermelon. In the evening, Sakaki led them to the summer house he had rented. They had a barbecue near the house and thought about what they would do next. Sakurai wanted to play a game. But Sakaki said that no one does that in the summer and they will go to the mountains at night. Sakaki suggested doing a test of courage, but Sakurai was against it because he did not like horror films and games. But Hana took his phone and began to run into the forest, and Sakurai ran after her. Sakaki wanted the best because he thought that Hana would be afraid, but it turned out the opposite. Sakaki decided to arrange suitable conditions for the relationship between Hana and Sakurai, because Sakurai is quite difficult and lonely and Sakaki wanted to diversify his life. When they found Hana and Sakurai, they found that the guy was shaking and holding Hana's hand. In the house, Sakurai fell asleep while Hana was playing games and she was depressed about it. She decided to take a photo of him sleeping, but he grabbed her and hugged her in her sleep. At first Hana wanted to break free, but then she realized that in consciousness he would not have done this and decided to fall asleep like that. In the morning, while brushing his teeth, Hana told him that he had fallen asleep on the sofa in the living room. The guy answered her that he slept very well and had a good night's sleep. Sekaki and Ami watched them and realized that they had missed some important part. Sekaki decided that he would bring them together, but Ami doubted that his plan would work. Hana was sitting at home and enjoying her own affairs, when suddenly Sakurai called her and asked her to come and be with him. When she arrived at the appointed place, it turned out that Sakurai called her to the cat cafe because he himself could not go there. When they entered there, Sakurai was very happy about the cats and could not believe that there were so many of them. He walked up to one of them and began scratching under his neck. This cat jumped onto his lap and he began to caress him, and Sakurai asked Hana why she was smiling. She replied that he is usually cold-blooded, but it turned out he likes cute things. Sakurai, in his usual serious tone, asked if she was serious, but he started petting the cat and forgot about it and asked how he could thank her because he wouldn't have gone to the cafe without her. She told him that her birthday was coming soon and she would not mind his company. Sakurai asked to repeat it because he didn't listen to her because of his numb legs. She came up, took the cat from him and told him to do some exercise. She came up from behind and started tickling his leg and the cafe owner asked them to stop. Before parting, she told him that her birthday was coming soon and she was looking forward to him. He decided to seek help from both Ami and the cafe owner. He thought that she wouldn't like every gift he gave. But the cafe owner and Ami thought differently and advised him to buy the first thing that comes to mind when he hears the word gift. He was walking down the street and thinking about what to buy, when Hana suddenly called him and asked him to come and stay with her. When he arrived, it turned out that she wanted to celebrate her 20th birthday in a bar. There they had a lot of fun because Hana was there for the first time. After evening fell, Sakurai discovered that it was late and the trains were no longer running. He wanted to call a taxi, but discovered that they had spent all the money. When they came home he tried to sleep, but Hana wanted to play. Sakurai decided to pretend to be asleep in hopes of actually falling asleep. Hana decided to try to kiss him, because he was sleeping. The guy jumped back sharply and threw a blanket at her and they fell asleep. But Hana felt bad in the morning and she lay on the mattress while Sakurai played the game. At the university, Hana brought him money and began to apologize for the previous evening. People around looked at Sakurai disapprovingly and discussed it, spreading rumors. He took money from her if only it would all stop and asked her to forget about it. People in the circle began to discuss them and many condemned Sakurai for their dialogue. At the cafe, the cafe owner and Ami decided to ask how Sakurai and Hana celebrated her birthday. He started retelling everything and crying, and Ami was worried. Ami asked if Hana had ever hurt him. The guy began to remember all the cases and said that in general he caused it. But then he said that he didn't care about it and now she had become somehow strange and he couldn't understand why. The cafe owner gave him a ticket to the fireworks festival and told Sakurai to invite Hana there. Ami aggressively began to insist that Sakurai compliment Hana and the cafe owner was pleased with his daughter Ami. When they met, she began to thank him for the invitation to this holiday and, in order to defuse the situation, he suggested going to eat. 
They participated in different games and ate different sweets and other foods. After that, she looked at him too calmly and not as before. He remembered Ami's words and decided to compliment her. The guy said that her yukata is very amazing and the hairpin is also very beautiful. He started showering her with compliments and randomly calling her cute. She liked it and he began to shower her with even more compliments, from which she began to swing the bag and accidentally hit Sakurai. He began to remember how Hana learned to swim in the pool and she couldn't do it, so she did it in the evening. Suddenly he jumped into the pool and began to swim silently and beautifully. He told her to develop a swimming technique and she began to try. After swimming, she was sad because nothing worked out for her. Sakurai decided to bring her some corn so she wouldn't be upset. She thanked him for supporting her when suddenly fireworks started and they were looking at it. He woke up abruptly and found himself lying on Hana's lap. She started to apologize, but he interrupted her and said that she didn't do it on purpose and everything was fine. He admitted to her that he was very glad that they had become close, despite the fact that she had infuriated him before. After all, thanks to her, he began to get used to an active life and asked not to take everything to heart. Suddenly the fireworks started and they enjoyed the sight of the sparkling lights. Despite the fact that he couldn't see well, he felt good. Sakurai and Hana went to visit Hana to return the money she gave him. At first he was worried, but when she said that at home he could pet the cats, he immediately calmed down. When Hana's mother, Suki Yuzaki, saw Sakurai, she was horrified by his look and height. Going into the apartment, he explained that he came because Hana refused to take the money and he decided to give it directly. Mom decided to scold Hana for going to spend the night with him because this could bring him discomfort. He said that everything was fine and she didn't bring him much discomfort and asked him to continue scolding her. Hana started arguing with Sakurai because she cared about him. The cat jumped onto Tsuki's lap and lay down there. Sakurai looked at the cat, and Tsuki misunderstood him and began to feel embarrassed. Hana offered to pet the cat, and Tsuki was horrified because she thought they were talking about her. Tsuki decided to visit the cafe to watch her daughter work. The owner of the cafe and Ami began to tell what a good worker Hana is and that the customers love her very much. They also said that mom has come to the cafe not only to Hana, but also to Sakurai. Although he has a serious look, he is tall and muscular, and also responsible. Suki asked if Sakurai liked mature and married women. They said that she was mistaken and that Sakurai did not understand relationships. Suki was very embarrassed and asked them to forget about everything she said. Suki walked to the warehouse door to tell Hana that it was time for her to leave. In the warehouse, Sakurai and Hana were discussing coffee beans. Sakurai believed that mature beans are better than young ones, but you need to be careful because you can get excited and not sleep all night. Hana invited him to try and he agreed. Suki misunderstood their conversation and thought that Sakurai had fallen in love with her. Hana won and teased Sakurai and he wondered why her mother was calm and she was not. Hana watched her mother all day to learn her habits. In the cafe she did not behave as usual and Ami asked Sakurai what he did to her. Hana approached them and Sakurai asked her to stop acting like that. She asked if he was okay and if he was tired, Hana was ready to take over his work. He shouted at her to stop doing that because it annoyed him. She asked him to apologize and then she would stop doing this. He apologized and added that he liked the old Hana. They started shouting at each other, but the child sharply asked them to stop arguing. The child handed them a lottery ticket so that they would not quarrel. They won tickets to travel to Tatori in a lottery. When they arrived they looked around the airport and teased each other. When they arrived in Tatori, Sakurai read a couple of interesting places in the reference book and suggested them to Hana. But she replied that these places are only for singles and that Sakurai even in Tatori tries to be alone. Suddenly a car drove up to them and it turned out to be Ami and Sakaki, they decided to also relax with them. But in reality they came to bring Hana and Sakurai together. On the sand dunes, Sakurai and Hana decided to race to the sea. While Sakurai was running, Hana picked up a sandboard and quickly overtook the guy. But when the mountain ended, she stopped and Sakurai still overtook her. Hana didn't want to go and Sakurai had to drag her. Then they came to a museum where various figures were sold and Hana begged Sakurai to buy her four figures. Near the statue of a hare and a man, Hana came running with cookies and offered them to Sakurai. He agreed, but while he was distracted, Hana ate a piece of his cookie. Suddenly she noticed a couple in love eating the same cookies and she became embarrassed. Then they came to the temple and decided to get lucky tickets for themselves. Sakurai was happy because he had average luck, but Hana had great luck and started laughing at him. Suddenly they discovered that this was a temple of lovers and he decided to read about it. It turned out that Sakaki and Ami brought them here to help Hana and Sakurai with their relationship. Sakurai and Hana looked like a typical couple in love. They arrived at the hot spring and decided to relax in the steam room. Hana was sweating so much that she asked Sakurai for his towel and he refused her. Then she walked up to him and accidentally fell on him. The administrator burst into the steam room because she heard strange sounds and asked for privacy in another place. 
Then he went to the hot spring to relax. Sakurai teased her through the wall because they were thin and everything could be heard. They decided to compete to see who was worse. While playing different games, they set each other up and interfered with the game. They decided to walk down the street where there were a lot of yaokai. They approached the statues and guessed who it was, Hana guessed with ease, and Sakurai with a little difficulty. Hana came to Sakurai and brought with her a pillow that looked like a toad. Sakurai was indignant because she made a mess all over his apartment. He decided to force her to put the extra trash in a bag and they threw out all the things. This angered him because she just littered his house. After cleaning, he found food in a bag in the refrigerator, as it turned out Hana decided to cook the food. He apologized for yelling at her because she was preparing food for him. At the cafe, Sakurai was offered to cook in the kitchen and Hana did not believe that he could cook at all. He accepted the challenge and prepared a disgusting dish and Hana started laughing. At Hana's house they needed dough because Sakurai decided to learn how to cook. Suki wondered why Sakurai didn't look at her like last time and came to the conclusion that he was passionate about the test. Suki went to hang out the laundry and thought about Sakurai's manners, he could become a good husband. As she approached the kitchen door, she heard Hana and Sakurai talking about petting cats. She thought that they were talking about her and did not understand why Hana was helping to seduce her own mother. After cooking lessons, Hana and Sakurai went rock climbing to have fun. Sakurai easily climbed to the very top, but Hana had a very hard time. The guy wasn't even tired, but Hana could barely stand on her feet. He wanted to climb more, and this angered Hana because he was better than her at this. The coach decided to give them a more difficult level seeing how hungry they were for competition. The guy managed it quite easily and wasn't even tired. Hana also tried, but she hung in the middle of the wall and could not get down until she was lowered. After that, in the evening, Sakurai decided to go alone to karaoke, but Ami and Hana found him there. The guy was depressed because he wanted to sing alone. Ami and Hana decided to cheer him up by wearing different cosplay costumes. They began to press themselves against him to confuse him. The girls decided to wear different costumes, which made Sakurai even more embarrassed. Ami asked which costume he liked best and he subconsciously replied that he liked the bunny costume better. When he realized what he had said, he was overcome with horror and shame, and the girls laughed. In rainy weather, he was sitting at home and heard a knock, he thought it was Hana and opening the door began to apologize. Hana came all wet and said that they couldn't be friends. He said that he would help her in any way he could if she told him. She said that she hadn't written a report and started complaining about her summer homework. Sakurai simply closed the doors and sighed heavily. Sakurai told all this to the owner of the cafe when they were in the warehouse. The owner of the cafe picked up the box and strained his back and he would have to go to the hospital. Since the owner of the cafe was not there, it was closed and Ami was wondering whether she should take over this establishment. Sakurai sat with the owner of the cafe in the emergency room while he received a back massage. Ami asked if Hana and Sakurai talked at school and she began to tell. A friend invited her to a swimming club and there she first met Sakurai and at first he scared her. But despite this, he was a kind and sincere person, even with his terrible look. Ami said that Hana speaks like Sakurai and that she only speaks like that when Sakurai is around. The girl became embarrassed and ran away from the cafe. Another day, Hana decided to find out what state Sakurai is in when he drinks too much. Sakako told her how to do it and what Sakurai would be like in this state. At home, with a ready-made plan, Hana put it into action. She prepared food and poured him a drink so that he would not notice the trick. While watching the movie, she also refilled his drink. When he was in a relaxed state, she decided to check his behavior and he was absolutely calm. Sakurai, in a relaxed state, decided to tell her that he loves everything she cooks. The girl heard the word loves and drank all the drinks out of shock and fell asleep. In the morning they discovered that they had slept in the same bed and were horrified. In the cafe they said that they didn't remember anything about that night. Hana said that in the morning she and Sakurai found themselves on the same mattress. Sakurai immediately started screaming that nothing happened because he doesn't remember anything. Hana suggested going to Sakurai's house and resting for two days in a row. But the guy told her that tomorrow was school and they would need to get up early. Hana forgot about it and was in a stupor. In the morning she met Sakurai and said that she was sad because summer vacation was over. Sakurai said that even though summer is over, they will always be together. He almost immediately realized his mistake because he meant that they could go out together after university. Hana said that if he really wants to go out with her, she can do him a favor. This really pissed off the guy and he shouted that she was very irritable. Hana was sad about the past summer and Sakaki tried to support her. He said that despite the end of summer, Hana can still go out with Sakurai, and the girl immediately began to smile. Sakaki decided that they would get along well since she had known Sakurai since school. But the girl denied this and said that he was big and scary, so at first she was afraid of him. Sekaki wondered how they became friends. The girl said that Sakurai is certainly scary and scares away with his appearance, but inside he is kind and caring. 
At this time, Sakurai arrived and Hana immediately perked up and began pestering the guy. Sekaki suggested that they go bowling because it would take their mind off the past summer. Hana started laughing and said that Sakurai doesn't know how to bowl or anything that has to do with balls. At the bowling alley, Sakurai and Hana bet on Wish. Hana pestered him to make him lose, but the more she angered him, the better he played. Then Hana decided to distract him so that he would miss and irritate him in every possible way. In the end, Sakurai still won because Hana was busy annoying Sakurai and not playing. She offered him a rematch and Sakurai happily agreed because he did not want to lose to her. At this time, the cafe was closed because the owner had a day off and he did not trust Ami with his cafe. After he left, Ami decided to dress Hana and Sakurai in lewd clothes to make the visitors delighted. When they arrived, she suggested putting on a new uniform before the guests arrived. Hana didn't like these clothes because they were too revealing and she decided to look at what was in the other packages. Despite the fact that Ami was against it, she still dumped her clothes on the floor and was horrified. The clothes were very indecent and Hana accused Ami of being a pervert. Sakurai came and said that there was nothing in the package except shorts and suggested that Ami forgot to put other things. Ami started shouting that in this form their cafe would become very popular and that she really wanted to see them there. Suddenly Tsuki Yuzaki came in and Ami immediately attacked her with offers to put on a uniform and work for them. The owner of the cafe came up from behind and asked threateningly what was going on here. After some time, Ami worked in her bunny form while the master watched her. At the university, Sakurai did not get enough sleep and decided to sleep on his desk. Hana's friends were discussing guys and Hana added that guys were nothing but problems. Her friends were surprised because Hana had a boyfriend. The girl began to make excuses and say that she was friends with Sakurai only out of pity because he is a loner. During the break, Sakurai decided to sleep off on a bench because he never fell asleep in the classroom. Hana lay down next to her and decided to take a photo, but then deleted the photo. They both fell asleep and hugged each other. Hana and Sakaki's friends looked at them and took pictures of the cute couple. Episode 2 Later, Sakaki showed Ami's photo and she began to feel sad because she was only shown it now. Hana suggested we go shopping and buy something. Sakurai said that Hana doesn't do well on her reports and exams. And Hana told him that she has friends, unlike him. Sakurai, entering the fitting room, said that in this case she did not need help. The girl was puzzled by this because that was not what she meant. At the swimsuit store, Hana revealed that Sakurai complimented her in the pool. Ami was glad that Sakurai remembered her advice. They were filming a mini football field while Sakaki and Ami watched Sakurai and Hana. Suddenly they saw students laughing at schoolchildren for their inept play. As it turns out, Sakaki knew them because they recently went on a group date that ended up falling apart. He only went there because they needed another member and all the girls only went because of Sakaki. They offered them a duel, if the guys win, then Sakaki will introduce them to Hana and Ami, and if they lose, they will pay him to rent the football field. Hana and Ami, of course, did not like this, but Sakaki assured them that everything would be fine, and Sakurai offered his help. Sakurai played poorly and was often distracted by Hana, who laughed at his falls and mistakes. Sakaki told him to relax because their score was higher than their opponents. Sakurai remembered the swim and concentrated, so he started playing very calmly and scored a goal. Then they ran away because Sakurai hit all the opponents with the ball. They arrived at Hana's house and she saw a guy running after his girlfriend and calling her senpai. She began to imagine how great it would be if she, too, was a senpai and Sakurai was her ward. Suddenly he asked that her face turned red, she started denying it and threw a bag of food at him. When they got home, they ate Sakurai's udon and Suki praised him for his preparation. But Hana said the noodles are not perfect because they are not smooth. He decided to learn how to cut noodles correctly and asked Suki to help him with this. She agreed and approached him to help, but abruptly left and apologized for it. She thought that Sakurai was in love with her and she shouldn't cling to him. While she was thinking, he had already begun to cut the noodles with great concentration. Suki thought that she had ruined Hana and Sakurai's relationship and decided to fix it. She approached Hana and asked if they had anything lately. Hana began to remember how she fell asleep in Sakurai's arms. At this moment, a misunderstanding occurred between them. A daughter who did not understand how her mother knew about this and a mother who thought something completely different. Meanwhile, Sakurai prepared the perfect udon. Hana wanted to invite Sakurai to the university festival, but he planned to play games all weekend. She tried to persuade him, but quickly gave up and decided to spend the weekend with him. Sekaki came and said that he was helping the organizers and said that if you collect all the seals, one of the prizes will be a new console. Sakurai suggested going to the festival after all, because Hana wanted to win this console. Sekaki gave them advice to go to expensive shops, because they give more stamps and wish them a happy day. Sakurai and Hana were outraged because this was not a date. At the festival, they collected stamps while playing various games and were already tired of walking everywhere. 
They got to the point of fortune telling, and even though there was a long line there, that didn't stop them. In line, people looked at them strangely, but they decided not to pay attention. When they entered, they saw Hana's friend who was doing fortune telling. Sakurai wanted to ask a question about work, but she said that they were only love fortune telling. Hana and Sakurai were about to leave, but they were stopped by people in hoods and told that they could only leave by telling their fortunes. They decided not to argue, because this way they would lose more time. The fortune teller told them that they were a great couple and perfect for each other. Hana and Sakurai ran away, and Ami was under the hoods and thanked her for allowing her to look. Ami was watching them and while she was talking to Sakaki on the phone, she lost sight of them. Sakurai and Hana sat on a bench and discussed what had happened, because it shocked them and they guessed that it was Sakaki's trap. When it was all over, the jury announced the winner and of course it wasn't Sakurai. Two days after the festival, everyone was busy cleaning and Sakurai was thinking about the fortune teller's words. The guy couldn't get these memories out of his head and it embarrassed him. He offered to help with the cooking, but she replied that the dish was easy to prepare and Sakurai was not a good cook to help her. He noticed that Hana was very calm and did not care about the fortune teller's words, and he decided to try the same. But in fact, Hana didn't care and was happy, because they sued each other and he couldn't cope without her. But she was happy for another reason, because Sakurai loves her and she will be able to control him. However, in reality this was only a figment of her fantasies. Hana decided to ask him if he wanted to tell her something. But Sakurai did not understand and began to thank her for the dish. She was shocked, but then she remembered that he was not very smart and decided that she would do it at another time. At the cafe, Hana told them that Skure was in love with her and she found out about it thanks to a fortune teller. They started discussing what to do with Hana while she was eating ice cream and came to the conclusion that it was not worth interfering. They asked where Sakurai was and she replied that he had bought new games and would be playing all weekend. She said that she would not go to visit him, because after the fortune teller she did not feel comfortable doing so. Ami wanted to give her advice, but the owner of the cafe closed her mouth. Suddenly Sakurai called her and asked her to play with him because he needed help in the game. She said goodbye, and Ami and Sakaki were surprised that she could be invited to Sakurai's house so easily. The next day, they decided to gradually change their work schedule so that they could come one at a time. During the break, Hana continued to talk about the festival and Sakurai. Suddenly, Sakaki decided to say that Sakurai had many fans and Hana could be wrong about his hobby. Sakaki advised Hana to be careful around him because there were a lot of girls around and suggested taking action. Sakurai arrived unexpectedly and decided to take Hana home because it was already late. At Hana's home, he measured the weight of each ingredient on a scale to be as accurate as possible. Suki decided to teach him how to measure by eye so that he wouldn't have to spend so much time weighing. After cooking, Hana asked if it was too difficult to teach Sakurai how to cook. Suki replied that it is not very difficult because he cooks for her and she does not have to strain. Hana said that cooking is not the only reason he comes here, and Suki became very confused, thinking that it was because of her. And Hana said that Sakurai is quite popular among girls, and asked what Suki thought about him. But Hana was distracted by the cats, and she went to feed them in another room. There she imagined how Sakurai met with another girl, and then many other girls ran up to him. She pushed those thoughts aside and convinced herself that Sakurai only loved her. At this time, Suki was thinking about Hana's words when suddenly Sakurai came up from behind and accidentally scared Suki. In the kitchen, he thought that he should have just called from the kitchen and not scared her like that. He wanted to apologize but thought about how to address her and decided to just ask. Suki immediately began to remember a series in which a young guy fell in love with a mature woman. She decided to give her name because hiding her name could mean that he cared about her. When he was almost ready to cook the croquettes, Hana approached him and they started arguing while Tsuki watched. She thought that she wouldn't be able to talk to Sakurai as easily as Hana. She called Hana and whispered that Hana should be sincere with Sakurai. While Hana was eating, she noticed how the guy was talking to her mother and calling her by name. This made her angry and jealous. Sakurai came to visit Hana at the cafe, but she didn't talk to him. Ami and the owner of the cafe suspected that he had offended her and did not want to admit it. Unexpectedly, Hana's mother came and asked Ami if Hana was causing any problems due to her strange behavior. They said everything was fine and she got along with everyone except Sakurai. Suki noticed this the evening she taught Sakurai how to cook. Sakurai asked Suki if she really didn't understand what was going on. Ami immediately guessed what was going on, because he calls her by her first name and Hana by her last name. He said that he had already said that he was embarrassed to address girls by name. But Hana objected because he easily called her mother by name. Ami suggested that Sakurai call everyone by their first name to overcome his fear of Hana's name. Sakurai was unhappy because he didn't even know the owner's name and asked him to introduce himself. The owner said his name, Akihiko Asai, and stood in a strange position. Sakurai bowed and apologized. 
Hana said it didn't count because he didn't say her name. He apologized again, but at the same time said her name. She considered this and said that he would have to slowly get used to it and called him by his name Shinishi. He asked not to call him that, but she decided that since he was older, she should call him Mr. Shinishi. This made him angry and he asked her to stop, but she didn't stop. On the way, he remembered how Hana pestered him, calling him by name, and suddenly found a ticket to the gym. At the gym, he decided to work out with a barbell. The coaches decided to insure him because safety comes first. He was lifting a lot of weight and was at the end of his rope, but the trainer wanted him to bench press one more time, and then another and another. The coach apologized for stressing the guy out so much, he was just surprised by his potential. Sakurai said that he had not trained and rested like this for a long time. Then the coach decided to invite him to sign up so that he could go regularly. Sakurai decided to go to the gym occasionally to relax and work out. Hana's father, Fujio, came home and it turned out that he was the same coach who trained Sakurai. Hana asked her mom if she would mind teaching Senpai how to cook this week. She replied that she did not mind, and her father inquired about it. Suki said that Hana's senpai is trying to learn how to cook, even though he can't do it. Fujio said that senpai would make a great wife, and Hana replied that he was a guy. He decided to skip a day of work to look at this guy. Hana Yanagi Yuzaki's sister came home to find a family meeting. The father said that Hana has a boyfriend. Her brother started laughing and her sister supported Hana. The sister asked Hana to take a photo and tell her about the guy. The father said that the guy should be worthy of Hana and talked about his ideal man. Hana started saying that her senpai was good and accidentally told him that she was at his house. Everyone was shocked because they were thinking about the wrong thing, and the mother was surprised that they had such an innocent relationship. Hana said that he was not her boyfriend at all and everyone began to be surprised because she was in another person's house. Her father began to suspect her of loving him, and she began to explain to him that she was friends with him out of pity. During this time, Sakurai trained at home to forget all the awkward moments. Sakurai often went to the gym and trained hard, which helped him clear his mind of annoying thoughts. In the audience, Fujio said that he was worried about his daughter because she had a boyfriend and he was worried about her. They asked how old his daughter was, and when they found out that she was 20, they said that she was already an adult and could handle it on her own. Fujio exclaimed that at 20 they were still children and needed help. Sakurai replied that even at 20 years old, many adults act like children. Fujio said that she goes to this guy's house and sometimes cooks food for him, but they haven't had anything yet. They said the guy didn't seem interested in the coach's daughter. He didn't agree because his daughter is very beautiful and the guy can't help but be interested. Sakurai stated that he would not rush things if he were in his place. Hana sat at home and corresponded with Sakurai, and her sister wanted Hana to show Sakurai. Hana's mom put off cooking until another day because she had something to do. In reality, Suki rescheduled the meeting because she wanted to stop Sakurai from falling in love with her and therefore left him with Hana so they could have privacy. At Hana's house, Sakurai petted the cat but was still afraid of it. Hana first noticed his strange behavior but then she looked closer and realized that everything was as usual. On his way home, Suki met Sakurai and asked him how his evening went. He said he petted their cat and she was so warm and soft. But Suki did not hear about the cat but thought that Sakurai did it with Hana. Then Sakurai said that he would like to pet both cats, but Suki thought that he was talking about her and Hana. When Suki had her birthday, Hana thought that she didn't know when Sakurai's birthday was. She went to a cafe and started asking friends because they knew him better. They decided to tell her, and Hana wondered what gift to give him. Ami said that last year he was surprised, but reacted rather sluggishly. Ami gave her the suit bag and everyone looked at her disapprovingly. Since Hana didn't know what to give him, she gave him everything. They played, watched movies and read manga. After the day, he wanted to thank her for this, but she said that it was a holiday and not the time to think about it. She said that he could try to make her birthday wonderful and in return she would make his next birthday even more wonderful. Sakurai thought that after visiting the gym, he no longer felt awkward when talking to Hana. He said he agreed, but would leave the university in a year. Hana thought about it and remembered Sakaki's words when he said that she needed to hurry up. She began to realize that when he left, she would not see him again. She invited him to stay a second year to socialize with him. He started saying that it was impossible, and from that moment Hana felt something in her heart. Hana watched Sakurai as he talked to the girls. Sekaki approached her and said that they talked to these girls yesterday and they liked Sakurai. She said that she doesn't care and she's glad about it because she won't have to waste time with Sakurai. Then Sakaki offered to introduce Sakurai to the girls better since Hana didn't care. She said that he still only loved her and if he became interested in him, the girls would be disappointed. She said she had to hurry because he would graduate from university in six months. Sekaki started screaming that she was doing everything wrong and if they had told each other directly, they could have dated. 
Hana couldn't admit it so easily and started saying that Sakurai fell in love with her, not the other way around, and that he should confess to her first. Sekaki said he was tired of it, so he turned around and left. Hana sat in the dining room and wondered how to get Sakurai to confess his love to her in a year. She came up with an idea and said that Sakurai always buys food from the cafeteria and therefore will cook for him. Sekaki said that she should at least do something because they don't have much time. In the kitchen, Hana was cooking and the whole family was watching. This made Hana angry because it interfered with her cooking and spoiled her mood. When Hana gave the food to Sakurai, he was very confused, although he didn't know why. Hana hurriedly left, saying that she didn't want to bother him because he liked to be alone. Sakurai suggested they have lunch together because he doesn't really like to eat alone. At the cafe, Hana bragged about giving Sakurai lunch and Sakaki thought that they could be dating if they said everything at once. In the evening, Hana was playing a game with her sister Yanagi and she asked her about Sakurai. Hana said that she would not tell her anything and left the room. Then Yanagi decided to find out the address of Hana's work from Tsuki and come there. In the morning, Yanagi got up earlier and came to the cafe, which greatly surprised Hana. Hana wanted to kick her sister out, but Sakurai advised her to choose a place for herself. He offered to clean up while Hana talked to her sister. Hana came over to order coffee and said that her little sister could be annoying. Sakurai said that he is the only child in the family and does not understand how hard it is for her. Hana decided not to let Sakurai near her sister so that she would not say anything unnecessary. But Sakurai brought Yanagi a warm towel to warm her hands, and Yanagi wanted to talk. They started talking about games and Hana tried to keep them from talking so they wouldn't start talking. Yanagi offered to introduce herself and said her name. Hana screamed at Sakurai while everyone else watched them fight. Suddenly, Ikahiko noticed that his daughter appeared at the cafe, although it was her day off. He imagined his daughter watching Sakurai and Hana through the camera. He struggled with suspicions about his own daughter, but all the facts hinted at it. Sakurai wanted to apologize to Hana, but she did not accept his apology. She asked why he wasn't happy with her name. He replied that if he called her by her name, everyone would think they got along. Hana yelled at him because they were already getting along and she started teasing him by saying his name. He said that she helps him a lot and takes care of him and said that he calls her by her last name because she is special to him. He realized what he said and they both became very embarrassed and blushed. Hana started teasing him again while the rest of the cafe's inhabitants watched. When Yanagi came home, she said that she was at a cafe and met Hana's boyfriend. Suki began to remember that Sakurai also loved her and therefore decided to forbid Yanaki to communicate with him alone. She was afraid that Sakurai would have his eyes on her youngest daughter. Suki still thought that Sakurai loved her and wanted to get closer to her. Yanagi didn't understand why she couldn't come to the cafe alone, but she agreed with her mother. Dad came and asked what they were discussing here, but Yanagi said that it was none of his business. Dad felt lonely because he was not included in their conversation. Suddenly, Hana's younger brother, Kiri Yuzaki, came out of the room. He was very tired because he was studying for exams and wanted to rest. But his mother told him that he needed to prepare for the exams and after the exams he would rest. He approached his father and secretly asked his father to let him go swimming. Dad, flattered that at least someone was devoting secrets to him, happily agreed. He noticed that there were only old people in the hall, he decided to show off in front of them and lifted large weights, to which the old people were surprised. On the treadmill, he again showed off in front of the old people, running fast, but suddenly his grandmother began to run faster than him. He started to run as fast as he could, but fell. At this time, Sakurai came into the hall and wanted to swim. Fujio suggested that he swim on the advanced track to test his strength. At this time, Kiri also decided to use the advanced path and was surprised by Sakurai's speed. Sakurai was thinking about how he called Hana special and it made him really angry. He began to swim with all his might to forget about this incident. At this time, Kiri did not understand how he could swim so fast and was surprised at his speed. When Kiri came home he was very sad. Fujio decided to go with his family to the pool at the springs, and everyone was happy about it, except Kiri. He remembered how he had screwed up in the pool and refused to go. When they were already driving, Dad was a little upset that they didn't go with the whole family. Fujio thought Hana was sad and that made him angry. He began to drive more aggressively and was annoyed that his daughter was moving away from him. He began to remember that she was his beloved daughter and he did not want to let her go. When they arrived, Fujio was worried that they wouldn't like him, but Suki said that everything was fine and they liked him. And while they were sitting in the fish bath, Hana and Yanagi decided to go to other baths. While they were leaving, guys began to approach them. Yanagi said that they were schoolgirls and did not want to communicate. Fujio rushed over and chased them away. He began to worry that he had brought them to such a place because they might not like it. People started approaching Fujio and asking if they could take his photo. 
he started posing and everyone was taking pictures of him. He began to tell them how to exercise correctly and gave advice. At this time, Hana decided to go for a walk, came across a bath in a cave and decided to go there. There she ran into Sakaki and Sakurai, who were surprised by her appearance there. They began accusing Sakaki of instigating their meeting. But he started denying it, saying it was just a coincidence. Hana invited Sakurai to ride the local coaster and just hang out. Sakaki smiled and began to say that Sakurai spends all his time with Hana and he is even offended that they met. Sakurai grabbed him to stop him from talking too much. Sakurai advised her to go see her family because she came with them and family trips don't happen every day. They decided to go another time and said goodbye. When they returned home, they decided that they would go again and told how they approached Hana and Yanagi. Kiri regretted not going because he could have met some beautiful girl there. He asked this week to even give up his club. Fujio was clearly happy about this because the whole family was there. Hana was visiting Sakurai and thought that he probably wanted to spend the new year with her. But suddenly she thought about Sakurai's intentions and began to think about different options. She began to think about her relationship with Sakurai, but Sakurai interrupted her. He asked her to take off her sweatshirt and she complied. But he just looked at the size of the t-shirt and said that she was wearing his t-shirt again. She started to get angry and said that she would wash it and return it to him because she just took it. The next day she decided to punish him and did not say why. She made him watch a horror movie, but in the end it was she who was afraid, not him. He offered to turn it off if she was afraid, but she wanted to see his fear. She began to be afraid again and Sakurai turned off the film and offered to walk Hana home. But she said that she was scared and began to persuade him to spend the night with him. Sakurai took out a spare mattress from the closet and Hana began to tease him that Sakurai kept this mattress only for her because no one goes to him anymore. He forced her into the shower so she would stop annoying him. After the shower, she put on his clothes and confused his underpants with his shorts. When Sakurai pointed this out to her, she ran back to the bathroom in embarrassment. While she was in the bathroom, his father called him and invited him to celebrate with his family. When Hana came to the meeting with Ami and Sakaki, she told them that Sakurai would not come since he was with his parents. When he arrived, he met a mother with a child in her arms. When he found out that this child was his sister, he was surprised that they didn't tell him anything. Sakurai's father said that he sent Sakurai to live separately only to spend time with his mother to the fullest. He blocked Sakurai's mother's number so that she would not call him and he would not come. Sakurai wanted to leave, but his parents insisted that he stay and look after his younger sister. Hana told Ami and Sakaki what they did at school. Sakurai taught Hana how to swim properly and showed her how to row. In the evening, Hana told him that even though he was a good swimmer, he was a bad teacher. Hana immediately apologized for being rude to him. He said that everything was fine, he just didn't teach anyone but her and had just started in high school. Hana told him how she was afraid of him at first, but then realized that he was kind. Realizing what she said, she again began to apologize for being rude to him once again. He said everything was fine and would continue to teach her. Hana started telling him that playing with a ball was not suitable for him because he was bad at it. But in swimming and climbing he is resilient and strong. Sekaki began to think that she shouldn't be distracted while she was talking, and Ami said that she was giving her a treat. At home, Sakurai was sitting with his sister and dad noticed that they had become friends. He began to take photographs of him, despite the fact that Sakurai did not need these photographs. Dad said he wanted to see how weak Sakurai was and challenged him to a fight. Sakurai fought with dignity and did not lose. Dad noticed that his son was stronger than before. Sakurai made a careless move and his father knocked him down. Dad said that he lacks patience and coordination, but if he comes to them more often, he will learn. This angered Sakurai, because Dad himself did everything to prevent him from coming. Dad said that if he couldn't knock him down, then Sakurai would have to tell everything about his girlfriend. Sakurai started to deny it because she was just a friend. For this, his father threw him to the floor, because a girl can't just come to an unfamiliar guy, take a shower with him and spend the night. The mother came and forced them to go to the bathroom because the food had long been cold. Ami brought Hana home, and before leaving, Yanagi asked her how Sakurai was doing. Ami replied that Sakurai was not there, and Ami had all the fun. Fujio and his friend came to the cafe to see where Sakurai was working. They suggested that Sakaki and Akihiko go to the hall so that Sakurai's friends could go with him. Sakurai wiped the table for a very long time and thought about what happened. He remembered saying goodbye to his family and his father giving him advice to be a man. Fujio noticed that something was bothering Sakurai and said that it was probably because of the girl he was telling him about. Akihiko and Sakaki were indignant because they are his friends and he consults with other people. They told him to forget about his worries and just go towards his goal, and if his strength was not enough, they would be happy to help him. The next day he was extremely thoughtful and decided that he should thank her for everything and behave more gently with her. Hana came up behind her and smiled. Sakurai decided that this was the perfect moment to thank her. 
but she interrupted him and asked if he was busy for Christmas, and when she heard that he was not busy, she laughed. After all, she imagined him sitting alone and celebrating without people. She said that if he asked her nicely, she would celebrate with him, but he would have to try hard. Sakurai said that he would no longer let her into his house and called her annoying. At the cafe, Ami scolded Hana for first showing hope and then doing stupid things. Sekaki said that in this case he would invite Sakurai to a party with the students so that Hana would lose him at least once. At home, Yanaga was annoying Hana because she had a fight with her boyfriend and wanted to help. She decided to go to the cafe to improve Sakurai and Hana's relationship. She told Sakurai that since he had a fight with Hana, she could celebrate with him. She said they had similar interests and could have a good time. Hana screamed at him not to celebrate with her and said that since he did not allow her to come to him, she would call him to her. Sakurai forgave her a long time ago and wanted to call her to his place, but decided that since she was calling him, it was worth going. Yanagi reminded her of her father, who might react badly, and Hana yelled at her sister for ruining everything. By the appointed day, she still hadn't come up with anything and was worried that she would quarrel with her dad, but then she thought that maybe her father would like Sakurai and everything would be fine. When they arrived, Fujio was shocked as he did not expect to see Sakurai. When they sat down at the table, there was a tense atmosphere. Fujio remembered training at the gym and how he told Sakurai everything about his daughter. He thought that if his daughters found out about this, they would begin to despise him. He took Sakurai aside and told him that Hana should not know about the conversation in the gym. Sakurai was about to leave, but Fujio began to ask him to forget about that conversation in the hall and not tell Hana about it. They agreed not to talk about it and returned to the table. Hana began to look after Sakurai and tried to spoon-feed him. Dad was very angry because they were cooing right at the table, not ashamed of anyone. They agreed with Sakurai to pretend that everything was fine. However, in the midst of the fun, Sakurai gave up and said he couldn't do it anymore. Sakurai said that if he forgets about everything and goes home, he won't say anything unnecessary. Fujio began to think that if Sakurai wanted to forget so much, then Hana was just a friend for him, and this also angered Fujio. Sakurai was sitting very relaxed on the sofa, and Fujio suggested that he go home. But Hana said that Sakurai was helpless in this state and began to mock him. In this state, Sakurai began to say that although Hana can be annoying, she is very kind. He said that his parents made him feel embarrassed to talk about it, but after his last conversation with them, he was advised to be a man, and he decided to think seriously about their relationship. Fujio was shocked because it was love, he gritted his teeth to keep from screaming about it. Fujio left the store and thought about Sakurai because he was too strict with him. Arriving home, he saw Sakurai's clothes taken off and his photograph taken. As it turns out, they were playing wish games and taking pictures of Sakurai to give his pictures to Ami. They decided to call him a taxi and take him home so that he wouldn't fall somewhere along the way. Fujio noted that Sakurai and Hana were not a bad couple and was angry with himself for thinking so poorly of Sakurai. When they got home, Hana wanted to put him to bed and told him that he couldn't do anything without her. He said that he would try to become a better person so that she wouldn't have to suffer because of him. She hugged him and told him that everything was okay, after which Sakurai fell. He hugged her, but then stood up and fell onto the pillow. At the cafe, Ami showed photos of Sakurai that Yanagi had sent her and even gave Hana money. Hana refused, but Ami gave even more money and didn't consider it a waste of money. When Sakurai arrived, he said he didn't remember anything and asked if he did anything. Hana showed him the photographs, and Sakurai was even glad that he didn't remember anything. Hana was happy about this because now she doesn't feel so awkward. When they said goodbye, he remembered everything and ran home in shame. He came to his home to work out with his father and relax because the gym was closed on New Year's Day. His father teased him about his relationship and Sakurai became very angry and they began to fight. Mom came and told them to stop quarreling because they should look neat for the new year. On New Year's Day, Sakurai asked Sakaki and Ikahiko for advice, he told them that he suspected Hana was in love with him. Sakaki said that everyone already knows about this and he needs to do something. Sakurai said that he didn't know what to do and suggested that he forget everything. But Sakaki told him that he needed to act and it was time to take the first step. He stood next to Hana, admired the sunset and decided to take her hand to confess his love. But he suddenly realized that he couldn't say, and said that they were still having a lot of fun this year. 